everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. I'm going to bribe the bird. And then we're going to get started for today's push pull legs. Take a hot minute. Grab yourself one slightly heavier weight. We're going to use that for a standing chest press. You're going to need um, two slightly lighter weights. One of our first moves is going to be a laying overhead lat lover. Uh, you're going to need some really light weights, one or three pounds. If you don't have that, maybe just grab like a water bottle that you can hold on to or plan to use no weights. And I'm going to check on the interweb over here while you do all of that. And then we're going to get started. Pretty excited. We're going for an AMRAP workout today, which means you're going to do as many reps as possible. You know what? It's going to be a lot easier if I just set my other time, which I've lost. So I'll be right back. There's a lot happening right now. Ah, look how simple that was. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started standing with a march. You know I love a good march. I want you to think about bringing uh, the whole foot down towards the floor. I got a little worried that I marched into a wet spot, but things seem to be totally okay today. So if you have the space, take a little bit more movement in your march. Find that forward and back. Let's keep this up for just a couple more seconds. And if you're feeling really lively and you want to turn it into a jog or that's an opportunity for you, I want you to think about that. Otherwise, maybe just move your arms a little bit more vigorously. We got this. Awesome. Next time you come to the back, go ahead, come on back into your jogging in place. Let's slow it down, turn it into a march. On your inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Let's knee drive. So a right knee drive, a left knee drive. Can you bring those arms up and use them to pull down? On that exhale, get into your abs as well. Warming up a little bit of those shoulders. You can move at the pace that works for you. Let's get one more eight count. Eight, seven, six, five. Use that exhale. Find your drive for three, two, one. Awesome. Ooh, shake it out for just a second. Actually have some fun. Really find a little bit of a shake. And then I want you to plant your feet firmly on the floor. Go ahead, cross your arms over your chest. We're going to take a hinge from the hips and warm up our lower back a little bit uh, and the back of our legs with some good mornings. Ooh, I'm feeling really tight. So make sure you're hinging from the hips. Glutes are gently being sent towards the back of the room. You're grounding through all four corners of the feet. I want you to feel that big stretch on the back of your legs. You can stand yourself back up. If you're feeling real flexible, you might be able to get quite a bit lower. Make sure as you hinge, you're keeping your lower belly in to keep your back feeling good. We're going to get two more. Last two. Awesome. One. Great. Ooh. Go ahead, just open and close your arms a couple of times. If you didn't already, grab your weights. We're going to meet down on the floor and get right into our first set. I want you to try and do 10 of each of the moves that are coming up. Bring it back to a march. Let me show you what they are. All right, you're still marching. You're down there. You got this. Here we are. I got my notes for round one. Round one, we're going to have a big lat pullover. So knees are going to be bent, soles of the feet pressed down towards the floor. You can have your hands separated or for a little bit more control. You might find that you need to bring the heads of your weights together. You're going to bring those arms all the way up overhead, nice and straight, and then bring them right back in line with your chest. 
10 times. You can make it a little bit more difficult, challenge your abs if you want to, by even lifting your legs up off the floor or maybe straight legs up towards the ceiling, but make sure your lower back stays down on the mat however you decide to do your lat pullovers. Then you're gonna sit yourself up. You're gonna come into a hinged row. You can do the hinged row either kneeling, or what's the word standing oh my gosh but you're just going to draw your arms back and bring them back down you can alternate your row out like we're going to do in the next round for triceps or you can do them both at the same time and then you're going to stand up just like our warm-up move we're going for romanian deadlifts if you need to have both feet on the floor cool but if you can do it with a single leg you'll get 10 on each leg and then lift yourself back up. Let's go ahead, get started. I'll give you some form thoughts and cues as we move through. We've got a full seven minutes. First move are those lat pullovers. Make your way down to the floor. We start in three, two, one, go for it. So lower back, press down into the mat, belly pulled in. You're bringing those straight arms all the way up overhead. And as quietly as you can, tapping the heads of your dumbbell down towards the floor and then lifting right back up. However heavy your weight is, is going to dictate what your pace is. We want to find a nice steady pace. That's the goal. And if you found that your weights are a little bit too easy, then think about coming into one of the additional challenges, maybe lifting uh, the soles of the feet up off of the floor into tabletop or straight legs up towards the ceiling. Or if you're feeling real audacious, you can turn it more into a crunch. All right, I'm pretty sure we hit 10. Hard to count and talk at the same time. So next we're gonna find our hinge row. Maybe you wanna stand all the way up onto your feet because you're gonna need to be there for the third move. So hinging forward, the more that you hinge, the more challenge you're gonna feel and bringing in 10 rows. You can keep your rows low. You can make your rows wide. You can alternate each time. If you want, it's your choice, it's your workout, so take a little autonomy here. And once you've hit 10, you're gonna stand yourself up, shift to just one leg, keep your hips squared forward. So try not to let those hips open out towards the side. On your hinge, you feel it in your hamstrings, stand yourself up. One a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Add in a knee drive here. Remember, both sides of the body are not the same. I'm having some real discomfort in my left side hip. So it's hard to even just stand on this leg and find a hinge back and forth. You're just doing what feels good for you today, whether you're just standing and tapping, or maybe you had to keep both feet on the floor and you're sticking with the move that looked more like our good morning. Once you've gotten your 10 on one side, switch to get your 10 single leg Romanian deadlifts on the other. So you can have a slight bend in your knee. If you're feeling really strong and stable, you might be able to do it with a locked knee. There's lots of weight in your heel though. You're just getting to your count of 10, however fast or slow you get there. And once you've hit 10, Reminder, my counting is definitely off today. Uh, you can come back down to the floor and begin again, back to your overhead lap pullovers. Make sure that lower back is pressed into the mat and keep going. Focus on your breath. And once you've hit your 10, whether we're moving together or not, you're moving on to the next move. If you forgot what it is, it's hinge rows. I'm going to stay down here on the floor. I like doing a lot of hinge moves from the floor. You take a lot of the balance factor out. You can focus a little bit more on the muscle group you're actually using. So a bit more of a focused squeeze 
of the backside body. I'm getting a couple low and narrow and a couple big and wide. Ooh, that's harder for me at this weight. And then you get to stand up and get your either single leg or if you need to, you're just going for a regular Romanian deadlift and on each leg. Remember the option to add in that knee drive if you want a little bit of ab work. We're more than halfway through. You get through all of these moves one more time on each side. Or one more time each, I guess I should say. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Remember, keep your eyes focused on one spot. A workout like this, uh, you know, there's some guidance. You don't have to come up with the moves, but the accountability has to be there because the drive to keep going from one exercise to the next is all on you. You can dilly dally as much as you want, even though I hope you don't, uh, between exercises. Or if you're really trying to make a difference, you're moving quickly from one to the other. Oh, oh my God, space is so limited. So there's barriers, you know, and then there's an excuse. Yeah, space is limited. So I might be like, oh, there's not enough space in my apartment. I just can't do anything. Or, you know, twist around a little bit. Find what does work for you. When there is a will, there is a way. You just need to bring it. You need to bring it. But we're here to help. This is a good plug for our Healthy Holiday Habits Challenge coming up towards the end of this month as well. We're going to take you into the new year. We're going to ask you what your goals are, and we're going to help you hold yourself accountable towards them. Oh, my gosh, we're supposed to be doing rows. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll let that count as 10. We're down to our last 20 seconds. Just going to get both legs together here in this last round of Romanian deadlifts till the very end. Then you get a minute of break. So generous she is. A full minute. Three, two, one. Awesome. Release the weights from your hands. Your minute of break starts right now. I recommend you grab some water. I'm going to grab some water too. Let's. Have a kiki. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Cool. Me too. Where are you guys watching on TV lately? Last night I watched a tween show uh, on Netflix. It's called Boo Bitch. And I think I fell asleep. Oh, but it was very adorable. Highly recommend. All right. You're just kind of moving and feeling good. Try not to completely stand still. But we're not actually talking about exercise yet because this is a break. Okay, break's over. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. Our next round of exercises coming up. Can you come back into a march for me? Let's keep our heart rates up. Keep your belly pulled in. If you want to, you can run forwards and backwards. We're going to get down on the floor for our next round. We're going to stay down on the floor as well. For this round, you're going to want those really light weights, like your ones or threes if you have them, and then like a slightly lighter weight probably. Uh, first move is going to be push-ups. You can do any sort of push-up that you want to do. I'm going to go for a modified push-up because push-ups are not my best move. And I know that I can be more in control right here from tabletop, releasing down towards the floor and actually using my chest 
as opposed to stepping out a little bit further and getting a little bit tired uh, and using my core, but not in a useful way. But please feel free to step your knees back or be on your toes or do whatever kind of push up you can do. Maybe you actually want to stand up and do an incline push up. And that is a great idea as well. If I was doing an incline push up, I would not have to be on my knees and I could still get that awesome actual chest working. Move number two, if you take in my class, we've done these before. We're going for the Superman Angels. I need to come a little off the mat. All right, you're going to take your lightest weight. You're going to start with your arms in front of you, palms facing down towards the floor. Arms come all the way around as they get closer towards your hips. Palms turn and face up, thumbs tap in towards each other, and then all the way back around. You can keep this simple on yourself by keeping your head down, or you can work a little bit more of your upper back by pressing the tops of the feet into the floor, really lifting yourself up, getting that lower back work. And then lowering back down in the Superman. If your shoulders are really tight, though, just focus on this range of motion, even if you keep your head down on the floor. And your third move is a weighted ham curl. So you're going to take a weight. And you're going to squeeze it between the soles of your feet. See how I even have the top of the weight actually kind of like touching on my feet? I can do a heavier weight than this. Awesome. And with the tops of the thighs on the floor, squeezing your glute, bring it in. And then slowly, slowly, slowly with control, extending your legs out, and then bringing it back in. Maybe give yourself a try right now because you might see, like me, you can actually do a heavier weight than you thought. All right. I'm going to twist my mat. Uh, so I can stay on it and you can see me this whole time. All right. Round number two starts in three, two, push-ups. Got 10 of those and 10 push-ups. And then you've got your 10 Superman angels and 10 weighted hamstring curls. This is round two of three for today. I hope maybe you thought during the break too, like, hey, I should put some music on because if I was at home doing this, I would put some music on. Awesome. Once you've hit your 10, you're going to lay yourself down, press the tops of the feet into the floor, get that activation on your posterior chain, either with weights or no weights, palms facing down towards the floor. To begin, open those arms all the way up towards the side, turn your hands, palms over, thumbs tap in. Arms come all the way back around, or the best you can. You know what? I'm doing the best I can with the space that I have. It is enough. And if you need to, you can rest down all the way at the front. You're getting 10. This one is probably not a move that you're doing super fast. I also do promise oh gosh, that the more of the tops of your feet that you press into the floor, the more that your kneecaps are lifted, the more that your posterior chain is engaged, the easier it's going to be whew, to activate through the upper back and to get this into your shoulders. It's hard though, right? Oh. I believe that's 10. Oh my gosh. Whew. Now you get to relax your upper body. You can even make a pillow for your head as you get in your hamstring curls. So bring your weight to your feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, my arms are so tired. It's hard to bring this weight back to my feet. Sorry, Beaver. <laughs> Okay, it's going to pick it up with my feet. That's probably the best idea. Why did I not even do that in the first place? Squeeze your inner thighs in towards each other, too. So you're getting a little adduction. Squeeze your glutes. Slowly lower that weight down. Slowly curl that weight in for 10. <laughs> Definitely was way easier to pick this up with my feet.
And it's up to you to really find this contraction too. Even if your weight isn't super heavy, you can squeeze, 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 squeeze. And really control on the way down as well. This is taking forever. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you made it to 10 yet? Awesome. Once you finish that last one, we're getting right back into those push ups to so press yourself back up. We are at that halfway point. We're actually beyond it. And once you hit your 10th, you're going to get back down on the floor and come back into your Superman angels. So starting with palms facing down, press the tops of the feet into the floor, squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis down towards the mat, arms come all the way around, thumbs tap in. So take that twist of your wrists as they get closer to your glutes. You know that scene in Beetlejuice? Okay, hopefully you've all seen Beetlejuice, where the mom is, like, being attacked by her art. And she's like, this is my art. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm bumping my arms into literally everything in my apartment. Oh, my gosh. Ah, we're almost done. We're almost done. These, these are the devil. Who's oh, the last one? Oh, yeah. And then we've got those hamstring curls. We're on to our last minute. Look how much better that went this time, just picking it up with the feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't forget to keep that squeeze on. You're squeezing your inner thighs in towards each other. You're squeezing your glute. You're slowly controlling on the way down, maybe even going a little slower, slower, slower as you get closer towards the floor. This is our last round on the floor, too. Five seconds left. I'm just going to keep with these hamstring curls. Yay. Carefully release your weight back down towards the floor. Uh, begin your one minute to yourself. You get this one moment in time. Drink some water. Okay. It feels like a Monday, y'all. I'm not usually home on a Tuesday. This is like a treat. Still a lot of work to do. Woo. Okay. So for this next round, 
we're going to use the couch. Uh, if you don't have a couch or a chair around that you can press the top of your foot into. Oh, sorry, I started talking five seconds early. I hope you'll forgive me. Um, then you get to just do split lunges. But the move number three on this last round is going to be Bulgarian split squats. So if you can, about two to three feet in front of whatever you're going to reach back and put your foot on. Either the Either the top of your foot comes down towards the surface, or you might like just pressing the toe into the floor. Uh, back knee comes a little bit closer towards whatever you're pressing on so that the front knee doesn't come past your toe. Ideally, front knee is still on top of the arch of your foot or your heel. That's move number three. Move number two is going to be uh, alternate hinge tricep extensions. So from a hinge, you're gonna keep that squeeze in your upper back from that row position. So shoulder blades squeezing towards each other, elbows stay in and alternate. Kick out one, one. Both sides are required to hit one and find 10. And then our first move is going to be bump a bump. Oh, a heavy weighted front press with a little bit of a twist. So you're gonna grab your heaviest weight because you only have to do up to 10, right? Okay, so starting right here at your chest, you're gonna press out, give me a little twist like you're driving and then bring it back in. Maybe every time you alternate which side you start your twist from. Let's go ahead and get started. Do you like our one minute of full break and then one minute of additional break? I hope so. It's because I love you. All right, starting with the press out, twist, twist in three, two, one. Let's do it. Woo. Press out, twist, twist, bring it back in. It has come to my attention that uh, we might go a little over today. Oh my gosh. But I'm gonna encourage you to stick with it. This is the round. This is the round. You've been like warming up to this moment the whole time. But to respect your time, maybe we'll go with just five minutes instead of seven. Once you've hit your 10, we're going to find those alternate hinge tricep extensions. Ready? So take your gentle little hinge, belly pulled in, draw your elbows up, squeeze shoulder blades in together, knit your rib cage in, and then one at a time. Let that pinky lead. Or maybe you take your rotation here with your palm like we did for those Superman angels, get a little bit more of your forearm engaged. That might not be possible depending on your weight. Awesome, once you've hit your 10, we're gonna come into our Bulgarian foot squats with the top of the foot on the floor. I'm sorry, top of the foot on the couch. Keeping your chest lifted. Bringing that back knee down towards the floor. Or maybe like in a little bit of a diagonal. Once you've hit your 10 on one leg, woo, switch, get your 10 on the opposite leg, and then you'll be right back into those front press with rotation. Oh my gosh, 
Well, y'all, we got just about two minutes left. So we've already spent three minutes in this round. Keep that core on and you got it, you got it. Keep going, almost there. Oh my gosh. All right, back into those hinge rows. I love this workout. I mean, it's hard, but I love this style because not hinge rows, hinge tricep extensions. Just about one minute left to go. So it's all really dependent upon your weight. If you have a lighter weight, maybe you're moving much faster. If your weight is really challenging you, you might not be able to get as many rounds in. So maybe your focus is moving fast, getting a little bit more cardio. Or maybe your focus is moving slow and heavy, getting in that strength. Just gonna go for about four on each side. I know that timer's about to go off. Oh, we made it. Take a moment, take it out. Go ahead, take some alternating forward kicks right here. Literally shake your arm out. Shake your legs out just a little bit. Let's take a quick stretch together. I respect that we're already a little bit over time. All right, go ahead, plant your feet firmly on the floor. Bend your knees. Ooh, inhale your arms all the way up overhead and then exhale relax them down let's do that same thing one more time bend your knees inhale your arms up overhead stretch to the opposite walls relax them down one more time bend your knees inhale arms up let's keep them there relax your right arm down towards the side reach your left arm up and over starting with your chest facing the wall and your shoulder touching an imaginary wall behind you, reach your right hand fingers down towards the floor and then look down towards the floor. So rotate, turn your chest, but try to keep your hips forward. And then inhale back against the wall again. Look up towards the ceiling. Try not to rotate your hips. Back towards the wall. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left arm down. Keep staring at the wall. Chest facing the wall, hips facing the wall. Push your hips to the right. Keep your hips pressed to the right and forward. And then turn your upper body down towards the floor. So just rotating through the shoulders. Inhale, lifting yourself back up. Shoulder blades touching the imaginary wall. And then look up towards the ceiling. Keep bringing that right hip towards the front as you open. Right arm towards the back. Inhale, back up towards the ceiling. Both arms up. Pull your belly in, exhale, rain, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, come up into a half lift, find length through your spine. Exhale, come down to your forward fold. Get that big stretch into the back of your legs. Maybe you pedal through your heels. Keep feet on the floor, just bend one knee and then the other. Take a moment with your movement, a little shaking, shifting into those hips again. And then belly on your thighs, bend your knees as much as you need to. Hands either on the floor, or you can wrap them behind your legs. Maybe you even wrap your hands around and through. So right hand comes on top of left shin, left hand comes on top of right shin, and then send your hips up towards the ceiling. Can you re-engage your lats? Shoulders pulled away from your heels. Weight more towards your toes. Take three breaths.
exhale, release any bind you might have on your hands. Inhale into your half lift again. Exhale down to your forward fold. Inhale, weight in your heels. Slowly roll yourself up. Bring your arms all the way up overhead again. Exhale, relax them down by your side. Yay! Uh, thank you for joining me today for Push Pull Lights. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this awesome circuit. Maybe you'll try it again another day if you're on campus. Come join me tomorrow. Well, I'd love to work out with you through the boot camp. Otherwise, see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody.